How you doing there, folks? Uh, it's your boy, Mash. And uh, I'm bringing you some hot streets of rage. Unfortunately, to my great detest, Adam is now uh, the character that we're going to be playing as instead of Axel or Blaze. I, I would have preferred those two over Adam, but more so Blaze. Sadly, we're going to play the slowest character of the game, although the strongest character in the game. Um, so that's fantastic. But, I mean, some hot streets of rage. I literally just learned this game, so I think it'll be sweet. And I'm looking forward to showing this game off, uh, considering it was supposed to be Altered Beast. Uh, so thanks to NASA for allowing myself to be able to do that. And if you haven't donated uh, yet towards any of the other um, bid wars or incentives, please do so. Um, after this run, there's Protect Me Night, uh, and the characters are very much free for anybody to donate towards. Uh, there's the mage, the fighter, the amazon, and the ninja. Uh, they're all very different from each other. Um, mage being the slowest, because she's super weak. Um, fighter and the amazon are generally the fastest characters. And then ninja, he's his, he's his own class of character, basically. He's a ninja. He makes decoys, kind of like Naruto people's um, uh, sexy jitsu kind of stuff, you know? But uh, anyways... Um, hope you guys are ready for some comfy Streets of Rage, um, but yeah, hell yeah. Well, anyways, without further ado, I, I guess we're, we're ready to, um, start this run. So, we're gonna go into options, we're gonna confirm that we're on easy. Um, we're gonna go into player one, because we're playing this just ourselves. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, we're gonna start this in, uh, three, two, one, start. So the timer starts in negative, it's actually negative, uh, 8.5, which is exactly how long it takes for me to gain control. Um, and I obviously hit the wrong button right off the bat. Great, that's, I love you, Adam. Totally awesome. Anyways, you have these unique specials. You call in cops to give you backup. It's weird because they're ex-cops and they don't work for the government anymore because the government's evil and uh, they're conspiring with the thugs to, you know, take over the streets. I don't know where this takes place, but, but anyways, um, your boy Adam's gonna beat up some thugs. And uh, hopefully we uh, will attempt a uh, no-continue run. Um, can't promise that I won't die, but I will try for a no-continue. So, um, so you'll probably see me swapping around a lot. And that guy tried to whip me, but uh, if you're quick on the draw, you can actually land without him throwing you down. So I follow up a lot of my attacks with a uh, couple kicks after a couple punches to do maximum damage and uh, really kind of speed up the screen transitions because you do have to clear all the enemies on the screen before it lets you scroll within the next one. So that's uh, ideally what we're going to do. Oh my god, this guy with the baseball bat. He's kind of scary. A baseball bat can do some serious damage to you, but it's also a slow weapon to use. So Axel does have some pretty good range compared to the other characters. But uh, uh, he's, he's, he generally moves really slow. So uh, the crusher is on... Uh, crusher is on stage 6 are actually going to give you some problems. Uh, because I'll have to be very careful about not getting, you know, crushed by the uh, fat boys that they are. They have some pretty wonky hitbox um, that's diagonal, um, and it takes longer to cross through it with slower characters. And I also have, like, an uppercut knockup, which is great. So the knife is actually the best weapon in the game, um, which is pretty cool. Um, 
the bottle is the worst weapon, so we'll try not to be ever picking up the bottle. And uh, almost always trying to get the knife. There's uh, a couple instances where getting the baseball bat will be better. We're dealing with these, um, I don't know what to call these girls, but uh, they're not nice. And uh, the later ones will, you know, get down on the ground so I can't hit them if I uh, punch them. So we're going to try for a quick kill on this boss here. And that's by grabbing and re-grabbing so that he doesn't get a chance to really do anything. And some of the later bosses get a little bit more difficult to do that. But that was a generally clean fight. We hadn't, hadn't died yet, so that's good. I'm happy about that. So first round is clear. There's eight stages in this game. Um, there is a trick um, that involves using a second controller to uh, skip all of stage eight, which I have not learned. It's actually rather difficult to do. And you only have basically one shot to do it, so... But uh, yeah, so I don't play Adam that much. I haven't. I've been practicing more with Blaze and Axel. Uh, but you know, Adam's not bad. Like I said, he's, he's good. Um, so the one reason why I didn't want Axel to win is going to be for the Stage 5 fight versus Mona and Lisa, which I call the Twins. And uh, I'll explain more about that when we get there. But anyways, we're on the back alley streets right now can't hit that barrel for some reason. That's fine. We'll just avoid it. We don't need to open it. There's a bottle. We don't want that. I'm gonna use this knife and hopefully, you know, just kind of clear out some of these enemies as best we can. Uh, without, you know, wasting every knife. This game does some weird thing with the line of sight that if I have a knife in my hand and there's no enemy directly in front of me, it just whips the knife. It's like, hey, there's nothing there. I'm just gonna throw the knife. Which is, I mean, great, you know, because it has a big hitbox and it can hit targets, but um, I kind of want to hold the knife to get more uses out of it. You gotta line yourself up on the enemies. Like that ninja guy that just got smoked. The knife does five damage. Uh, baseball bat does like four. Most of these enemies at the beginning of the game have five health. And uh, a single punch uh, with your stronger attack in the combo is generally enough to kill an enemy in just one lineup. Uh, if you're Blaze, uh, it's not so much the case. Um, you have to do a little bit of a different uh, attack pattern there. But she's also quicker for the uh, rotating hitbox that uh, you'll see me do in the later stages when I'm getting swarmed. But uh, since we're playing as Adam, we have a little bit more damage behind us. You can actually allow us to safely do those kicks and stuff. Because I can just, you know, kill him a lot easier. That's a juggler. We don't like him. Grabbing him's a bit of pain in the ass. But uh, anyways, these guys are kind of scary. These are some like Wolverine guys with claws. They want to scratch me. And uh, I, I messed up the grab there because it's actually really quick with this guy. So we're just going to kind of throw him around a little bit. And uh, hopefully not get scratched too many times. He's, uh, he's probably one of my uh, weaker bosses to go up against. I want to try to grab him and re-grab him, but uh, sometimes that's just not going to work, so I'm just going to opt to throw him if I can. Alright, so not too bad. Not too bad. That could have been faster, but... I only did learn this game in, like, three days, so... Uh, and it's a, it's, a, it's a fun game. I'm enjoying it a lot. I don't know about chat. How you guys doing? Hope you guys are enjoying the marathon. Um... I know it's a little odd to see a marathon done in black and white. I think it's pretty cool. It works really well for some games like this. Might be a little hard to see my health bar since it's a bit darker, but that's fine. Uh, but yeah, thanks to thanks to Laz for playing Adam. Because he just like literally sniped it. So thanks Laz. We're going to keep scrolling the screen here as far as we can. Do some re-grabs if we have to. Throw that bitch out of my way. These guys are sometimes pretty quick on punching me. We're going to hope that doesn't happen. Because again, I'm playing the slowest character in the game, so my reaction time's also not very fast. But well, we got these apples, and we got tired chickens. You know, refresh all of our health. 
uh, stage three has uh, like a, an El Salvador looking wrestler guy. He's gonna be fun. So we got some more martial art ninja guys. I don't know what to call them. But we're gonna try not to get kicked in the face a bunch of times from them. Because they, uh, they have some weird hitbox stuff with their kicks and they can usually hit you more than once in a row. Sometimes almost completely drain your health bar on the harder difficulties. But uh, I'm getting slapped around here. So again, this character's not very fast at reacting to uh, some of the attacks. And if you hear my controller going, that's just because I'm flipping around the buttons and stuff. I'm trying to swing my hitbox from left to right as quickly as I can. But uh, like I said, attack enemies can actually hit me on different planes as long as they're around me. So we're going to hopefully get this health pickup coming up soon before the boss and not lose too much life. Oh my god, that guy really, really tried to kill me. Fine. So, yeah, I don't think there's a health pickup coming up, so if I get hit by the boss, I'm kind of dead. That's fine. Should be able to get him being in the middle of the screen here. We're going to dance with him. I'm gonna try to dance with him, but that didn't work out. I was too scared of the, the Geisha trying to hit me there, but that's fine. Do some little improvising there. Not the cleanest boss fight for him, that's fine. So we died once. Hope people are keeping track of that. Alright, so we're on stage four. Stage pretty short. Um, there's pits uh, on the bridge that we don't want to fall in. So we're gonna try not to have that happen. Oh god. Yeah, exactly, what death? Exactly my point. I still have three uh, over three lives, so I didn't die, right? That's how it works. Oh my god, these guys are just playing really weird with me here today. So the enemies have different reaction patterns to my movements. You can generally manipulate them to do exactly what you want every single time. The other thing that's going to make uh, things difficult for me for the twins is the fact that Ad is actually slow, right? So it's going to be harder to get underneath the twins. So I'm going to have to really work on the timing for that. that apple underneath that cone. So if an enemy has a weapon, they actually have more health than a normal enemy. They basically get upgraded to the next tier. Blue being the lowest, green being the next up from that. Then it'll be like uh, it'll be like the red and black ones. Sam, black girls are uh, a lot harder to kill sometimes too, and the whips hurt. I'm gonna kill that guy. Continue on here. These guys are not nice because they slide around. Oh, we got a kick. So we'll do that. Oh, man, he's trying to throw me. No, you don't. All right, on we go. We're almost at the boss. This game's not very very long, really, but it does take a lot of people uh, who are new to the game a decent amount of time to actually finish, even on uh, maybe easy for the first time. So the numbers of enemies increase for difficulty up until you get to hardest. In which case, uh, the enemies also gain a lot of life and deal significantly more damage from what I understand. Uh, and ultimately makes the run uh, much longer. Generally, 
Um, you can complete a run in about 30 minutes without, uh, as long as it's not without too many difficulties or, you know, issues. So I don't have a knife, which is going to make this kind of annoying, dealing with the Geisha. But we got this big boy here. We're going to just hit in a corner. Yeah, I'm going to call a cop special there, because uh, I need a little bit of a hand here. Um, I, uh, unfortunately grabbed the big boy, and he's too big for me to lift, so he fell right on top of me. And that doesn't, that doesn't, uh, that doesn't uh, float in my books, so we're uh, we're gonna get some help there and then finish them off. I don't want to die anymore in the run because uh, we're gonna save all our lives for the last boss, who can uh, be a bit of a pain. All right, so we're on the infamous chapter five. We're gonna be seeing uh, Mona and Lisa soon. Before that, we gotta get through this onslaught of uh, thugs that have hijacked this cruise ship. It's not on fire, don't worry. Everyone is uh, perfectly safe. Uh, there's, there is no innocence on the ship, to my knowledge. Just thugs. Oh my. Alright, so this, this thug guy is kind of annoying, so we're just gonna kill him with a knife and grab his. Alright, grab this apple. So we're going to try to get that baseball bat to deal with the... To deal with the, uh, whip girls coming up. I don't even know what their names are, really. Oh my god. Not doing the rotating. This is why I don't like playing Adam. He's just so slow. I'm hitting buttons and nothing's happening. So anyways, we're gonna get these all grouped up here so they're easier to kill because they just go down after a single punch. Much easier just to whack them a few times with the baseball bat and clean them up. This works out a hell of a lot better. Some good old fashioned baseball action. Yes, as I did say, say fire, but nothing's on fire. This, this cruise ship is perfectly fine. It's just hijacked by a bunch of thugs. Not on fire. There's no innocents on board that I have to go save, unlike some games. No biggie. Just gonna beat up some Ishas and thugs and martial artists and all that jazz. So these guys are weird because they like to attack you from behind and kick you in the face. Um, so now we got the wrestler. We're gonna dance with him. This is what I wanted to do. And uh, just alternate from left to right and until he dies. Pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. Grab this knife. Continue on. We got more martial artists. So we're just gonna try to make this easier to clean up. All right, so the jugglers come on screen. We're gonna quickly kill all the enemies without having to do with so much running around. I'm also gonna get past the ship. Yes. Um, game. You want it? You want me? Can you hit? Whatever. I mean, I guess I have a really small hitbox with a knife. That's fine though. I wanted the cop car special just in case, because, you know, Adam's going to have some difficulties with the bosses coming up. If I die, I'll also lose that cop special, and I go only back to one if I have multiples. Some of you people might have actually played this on the Sega Genesis. Uh, I'm actually playing this on the uh, Xbox One. I, uh... Originally did uh, get this and play this on 360, but the, the Xbox One is what I've been practicing on. So, anyways. So, hopefully we can get the quick kill set up. So, now I got both grabbed. I'm just going to suplex them, and I'm going to kind of repeat this process. Yeah, I kind of messed that up. We're going to try to salvage. Yeah. 
Okay, she's she's definitely not cooperating, but that's fine. It's fine, they haven't hit me yet. Okay. I uh I got I got suplex there, it's not a big deal. I, I, I kind of want to kill them at the same time, but generally fighting these these twins is uh, a bit difficult because it's almost impossible to actually grab them uh, without trying to like get them sorted out like that. But you know that went that went well. I mean for Adam, would have been much easier with Blaze. Axel is actually more difficult to do with because I can't do the back attack uh, as efficiently because he's like super close range. So. Uh, uh, you know, I got the reach, but I just don't have the speed with this character, which is fine. Um. So we're gonna get through this factory here. This factory is actually kind of long. I'm gonna throw that guy off top of me here, just so we don't get messed up by all these guys. Alright, so this is just one of the, uh whip girls I was talking about. She just kind of goes down after a single punch. So we're gonna try to not do that to her. Alright, not too bad. Got that knife and uh, mosey on along here. There's the crushers I was talking about, so we're gonna have a little bit of difficulty getting through them, so I might have to just bait them to safely get underneath them. So I'm gonna do that, I'm just gonna bait them. going. Keep going. Get out of my way, enemies. Got a speed run to finish. Don't worry. They're gonna just toss me back and forth, aren't they? Alright. Not a big deal. Alright, so we're gonna have a mini boss here. Oh, look, it's the guy from stage three. Gonna try not to get hit by his fire attack. It's just not making it easy. Again, I'm really slow, so this is usually not a case where I have to worry too much about this guy actually trying to kill me. Oh, look, we have six lives now. All good. Full health. Continue on here. Bait the crusher. Went uh, a little too soon there. this knife for now. Black guy with the knife. Baseball bat these two here. And then move on. Alright. No big deal. Got a couple of the uh, black whip girls coming up. Gonna knock them down. I don't know if they're cops or they're prostitutes. I have no idea. It's hard to tell. I think they're I think they're the corrupt cops or something. I don't I don't know. They look very familiar to like the ones from uh, from Double Dragon. Very very familiar. I'll try to keep this baseball bat for a little while here. Baseball bats. Generally, when you have an item held, you can only pick it up twice. So if I get it knocked in my hands, I got one less chance to use it. And that's why I was talking about the uh, martial art guys being a bit of a pain there, just going for some cheap shots. Beat this uh, crusher here. I have to deal with some of these girls here, so it's. Uh, No. Oh no, he actually got me. That wasn't very nice. Get the pressure here, get underneath it, and continue on. Gonna 
escape the crusher here. Keep going. Alright, so we have a double boss, which is the stage two boss. We gotta fight two of them. So, uh, yeah, things could get a little scratchy here. leave that health there. We're gonna go over here. Try to get this guy and get some damage in on him. Having both these guys at the same time is gonna be annoying because they're gonna try to scratch me whenever the other one isn't present for being held. There's a way to like get it so that uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to touch about either of them when they're standing on top of each other like that. They're just gonna scratch me and they have a really big hitbox um, for when they do that. So. We're just gonna split them up a little bit here. Wait for them to come in. Oh, okay. And, and the other thing is you're noticing I'm not jumping to fight these guys. You just don't wanna jump or, or it's a bad time. Really, really bad time. They just go crazy if you try to, try to jump on them. So just don't try to jump kick. Not too bad, not too bad. Then we have 50 seconds to 60 seconds to complete a stage as well, so we wanna, wanna complete it under time like that. All right, so we're on stage seven already. Things are, things are looking good. We're doing, we're doing all right. Elevator action. If you guys like elevator music. Stage is not very long either. It's just a gauntlet of enemies with uh, no health pickups. So that's the uh, the only difficult thing about this part of uh, the game. Is the stage has literally no health pickups. It's literally just onslaughts of enemies and maybe some weapons. I'm gonna try to stay up in this right hand corner every time the elevator stops the uh, martial artists to come down so I can quickly take care of them. Throw these guys off the balcony means I have to do less damage to them to actually kill them. Got that knife. Maybe I'll stand back up here in the corner. So I messed that up. I was supposed to develop a knife both of them. I don't want them to throw me off if I can help it, because that would be actually bad. And of course, I turn my back and he just gets the cheap shot in on me. Alright, the, the, the baseball bat's got some issues. It's uh, stuck in the door. I don't think I can even pick it up. Nope. Okay. Alright. Rip the baseball bat. Oh, it's still there. It's it's just it's just stuck. This game's starting to amuse me with some of the weird stuff that's happened. I got a guy stuck in a wall trying to stab me. He just he just couldn't stab me. He's just stuck in a wall. Uh, we want this this girl here to kinda get closer to the edge there. That guy snuck up on me. He knew it. He's like, I'm going in for the kill. Throw her off if I can. Just uh, making it very difficult to do so. With, uh... I'm just going to suplex her, I guess. Stand up, please. Toss you off the building there. 
Alright, so there should be one more floor of guys coming out at me, and then uh, I'm at my last stop, and then we can continue on to the boss. But I have to go through a boss gauntlet, or, uh, yeah, basically a minute boss gauntlet before I can actually get to the real boss. And all those enemies and bosses I've killed along the way, well, I'm gonna have to fight them. Just a little bit slightly stronger versions of them. Just like every great video game, you have to do a refight of all the bosses and enemies recolored and their best recolors. Which signifies how much stronger they've become and how much more difficult the game has become. And that's the end of Chapter 7. Yeah, I hope you guys are uh, enjoying the marathon right now. All right, so stage eight. We're in a long hallway, we're gonna have some dinner carts flying at us. We're gonna try not to get hit by them. Well, I don't get my knife apparently. The game doesn't like me enough to give me the knife. That's fine though. Come on, Geisha. Good. Let's continue on. We got some lives. We got six lives. We, I like. I mean, if I die all six lives, I mean that that it's just poor. That 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 would just be poor. Oh, I got hit by a dinner cart. I had a feeling that was going to happen at some point. Keep scrolling the screen here. We got our first mini boss coming up after we kill these guys on the screen. I mean, you want to throw me, I'll just jump kick you in the face, boy. Alright, so we're going to have first stage boss show up here. So we're going to try to kill, quick kill him. Make some short work of him. Alright, easy peasy. I also don't have my cop special in here. Uh, they're just not allowed to enter this... Uh, this mansion here. But, um, if I wanted to, it's very slow, I could have called the cop to shoot upwards from the parking lot through the building and rain down fire off from the sky. I don't know how that works. This this video game is just magic. It, they just shoot through the building, leaving it completely intact to rain fire from above. I, I just, I don't understand. This game is just amazing. I got a pipe here. It's great. It's a great weapon. I'm lying, it's not a good weapon. It does make killing these guys slightly easier though. I don't have to get as close, because they seem to back up a lot when I uh, get that close to them. Alright, so we got Mr. Scratchy. Uh, hopefully he doesn't give me too much problems here. It's not letting me grab and re-grab him, he's too, he's too fast. We're just gonna wall up on him. All right, there, we got some re-grabs. We got three in a row, that's good. Just knee him in the chest. Uh, chicken dinner, waiting underneath that dinner cart for us, which makes a lot more sense than tire chickens. We got El Salvador coming up next, stage three boss. To refight him. Almost done with this game. Don't blink though. I'm hoping the uh, actual boss fight goes well, and uh, that I don't accidentally restart the uh, restart this game from chapter six or round six. Is that, that that that's actually a troll? This game will troll you into replaying the last three levels all over again. All right, so we're just gonna dance with El Salvador here. Alright. I don't know if you guys are aware, but this game does have a troll. And if you're playing co-op, it's even worse of a troll, because you literally might have to kill your friend. And 
battle it out to the death. I don't, I don't advise either of those options, personally. Alright, she's, she's not being nice. Oh, come on. These guys are not being nice. Come back on screen. What are you doing? Alright, so we got Roly Poly here. Make some quick short work of him. See, since he's so slow and he has to charge up his attack, it's actually way easier to grab and re grab this guy. He's just very difficult to fight otherwise, if you don't know how to do that. Um, dinner cart coming out of nowhere to try to get me. We got all of our favorite reskins in their best format. Oh my god, these guys will literally wreck me with their their kicks like that. Yeah, yeah, they're just they're just getting free kicks in. Him. Oh wow, that guy's got some kicks going. Man, they've been practicing all day for me. I've been waiting. They, they've been waiting 10 hours just to kick you in the face. Live on stream. It's because it's I'm playing Adam and they know that I'm too slow. They just can't fight somebody on their own skill level. Alright, so we got the fight with, uh, refight with the twins here. Alright, so we got them locked up. We're gonna try to do this perfectly. Okay, I didn't I did too fast. I got a I got a I got a I didn't get it right. That's fine, that's fine. I mean, it's okay. It's okay. We can we can still do this. I mean, I, I, I did it too fast again. I went for the grab a little too fast, and that's why I get the uh, back grab. I want her in the face. All right, wait for her to get over here. All right, we got one down. We just got to finish up the other one. Alright, it's good. Alright, so we're gonna die in one hit going into the boss, but that's not a big deal. Alright, so we're gonna get asked a question. He's gonna troll us. Uh, we do not want to become his right-hand man. If we do, we have to restart the entirety from stage 6. So we go and make sure we don't do that. So now I have Epic kill his minions before we actually get to fight the real boss. That's fine. It's, it's, it's fine. We got four extra lives. It's good. Again, we're trying not to get a continue. We're playing as Adam. As the incentive willed it. Alright. It's all good. Alright, so now we have the boss fight. I'm trying not to get smashed in the face by the boss either. Ideally, that's the best way to not have this fight go. I did not want to pick up the pipe, but I want to stay at the top of the screen, though, as much as possible. Alright, the boss is almost dead. Alright, so time's coming up. That's time. 
All right, so it's a little bit slower, but I mean, I told you, we didn't want to play Adam. I mean, I don't know why you guys did this. It was going to be underestimate because I had to choose Adam. I hope that was worth the money, Lass. Ruining the marathon. But uh, anyways, beautiful end credits. This game's got a beautiful music. Very interesting story. Um, Streets of Rage 2 and 3 are uh, sequels all on the Genesis as well. They're, they're pretty good games. They're very long. They're very difficult. And uh, there is a Streets of Rage 4 in development. <gasps> I mean, we haven't had a Streets of Rage game since Sega Genesis. That's pretty exciting. I have no idea if it's going to be complete hot garbage like the AAA games we get nowadays, but uh, we'll see. But uh, anyways, um, I'm going to let the credits play out. If you guys haven't donated yet towards the marathon, you want to put it towards uh, any of the incentives or uh, goals, make sure you do so. Um, just before the run for uh, Protect Me Night starts up, I'll be closing those out. So uh, make sure that you get the donations in if you guys do want to select the character that we play as. Uh, I believe last time I checked, uh, there was a single dollar on the Amazon, uh, which is a good choice. But uh, if you do want to see any of the other characters, uh, make sure to get that donation in very, very soon. But uh, yeah, we're going to set up the next run, and uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed Streets of Rage. And uh, it certainly won't be the last time um, that I play this game.